Hi everyone, so today I'm going to make a very quick review of this new smartwatch. It's called Verme Tembo V T3 Plus. I've had this for about two weeks now. Um, some of the things that I really like about it is that I can use it to monitor my heart rate and also to monitor my sleep at night. And you know, I don't have to worry about opening an app or measuring anything, just, just does it over the day by itself. Um, also, it measures the oxygen level, which I thought was really cool. I, I don't know how accurate it is, but I think I think it's decent. Um, also, it has some sports mode that I'm going to show you, and it shows you the notifications and so on. So, let's get to the unboxing. So, a quick disclaimer. I did open this before, and I did use it for about two weeks, but I put it back together as you would find it when you buy it, just to give you an uh, unboxing experience. So, you know, it lasts seven days unless you turn the sleep and heart rate monitoring on, which would just monitor your heart rate like every every hour during the day. I usually like to wear these to prevent any fingerprints, but I guess to deal with this, I will have to take them off. Anyway, let's get to the work. Let's unbox this. This is just a shell of it. There's nothing in here. And then there's a real watch. This is a user manual, and I really um, advise to take a look at this when you first get it, because there are some modes that will not work unless you connect it to your phone, and I made this mistake in the beginning because I did connect it to my phone, but at the same time, I just didn't know where to find the sleep monitoring, and I had to read this to be able to find it. And they just want to make everyone happy, so they give you this card. Now this is the watch itself. Let's see if anything is down there. We have the charger, and that's magnetic. We'll get back to this later. Let's just put it on the side now. Now let's get to the watch itself. There it is, nothing here, just a shell. So, let's take this protective layer off, and you see here how the button has this red little texture. I think they're trying to make it look like the Apple Watch, which I think it looks a lot like the Apple Watch. But it also looks just really nice. Oh, now it's on. So I'm going to turn it off. Now you'll see what it looks like when you're turning it off. Shut down just to show you how to open it and use it. This is the back of it. You have two sensors here. I think these two are both for the heart rate. And this one is for the oxygen level. The two for the heart rate are going to be lit green when you are measuring your heart rate. And the one for the oxygen level is going to be red. I'm going to show you all this right now. But... Um, this is metallic, which I really like. Um, it's really, it feels premium. It does feel expensive. See, it's, it's not just cheap plastic. Now, to turn it on, you have to long press here. And then, it should say Verme. I don't know if I'm reading it right, but I, I think it's Verme, Verme. One of the cool things I also like about this is that um, you can change, let me just adjust the focus here. You can change this by just pressing here. It will give you different backgrounds. Anyway, if you swipe to the left, this is where it shows you the notifications for the messages here. They call it messages, but it really is all the notifications. Now, if you swipe, if you swipe, I'm just trying to make sure that this is focused here. I'm not sure if it's... Well, anyway. If you swipe up, the heart rate and the sleep monitoring. Now, if you turn this on as it is right now, the battery life of the watch should last you about uh, four days. If you turn it off, it should last you about seven days, a whole week. I usually leave it on and just charge it when I need to. And here again, you have the flashlight. This is really nice if it's totally dark. That's when you will notice it. But right now, because you know everything's lit, you wouldn't really see the difference and it, I guess it uses some batteries I don't really like to use it but you also have the this don't disturb mode so that it's quiet it's not vibrating anyway if you swipe down you will see this graph it monitors like how many steps did you take today and how many calories did you burn and all that good stuff I like it it's a nice little graph this is kind of the same thing just in a different graph and this shows you the heart rate. It's, uh, let me show you. See, it would only light once you have something in front of it. So it's 
these two are green once you're when you're trying to measure your heart rate. You can use the finger to measure your heart rate. It's, it's it usually takes three to four seconds. I guess it might take longer right now because I'm not I'm not using my wrist. I'm using my finger. But anyway, do you see this red number up there? This is the highest the heart rate has been through the whole day, and this is the lowest it has been through the day. Now it's just past 12 midnight right now, so you know it's starting over this is a new day for the watch so it's not full but usually this is all populated with numbers and it's, it's a graph so you will be able to see a dot that's red and that's the highest your heart rate has been and you can see what times that was and you can like think of what have caused that to happen and also the lowest one usually my lowest is when I'm asleep at night because this will be like the whole day back here again I really like that just when with like a quick touch I can change that you swipe this way and you will see the sports and the workouts. So you have swimming, run, bike, fast walk, hike, basketball, badminton, tennis, soccer. You have all these things. I have honestly only tried the run. And this mode is just like the running machines that you run on. It shows you how many kilometers did you run. It has a heart monitor on as you can see. It will pause when I'm not using it. But anyway, this is the run mode. You have all these other sports. Now we swipe one more, and here you have the menu. This is the uh, oxygen level. So let me try to show you this. Do you see the red? Well, they get mad at you when you move it around like that. But let's. So um, you have the heart rate, you have the breathe training. I really like this too. I think it's very cool. I'm sorry, I had to stop the video to make sure that the screen was focused and I think it looks much better now. Anyway, so you hit, for example, deep, deep, breathe, deep relax and you hit start, counts down. I don't want this to be out of focus again. Here it is. So now you inhale and it shows you the circle and then you hold your breath and you wait until the circle gets full. And then as you see, you exhale and you just try to let it all out as the circle is shrinking. And at the same time, it's measuring your heart rate to try to show you at the end how that this is helping you calm down and helping your heart rate go, go down. I think it's really cool. I don't use it much, but I just feel happy that I have this option there if I'm having a bad day or whatever. And you have to repeat this until this full bar is full, of course. And you have nervous relaxation. It's, I guess it's just similar just that this says that it's through the nose. You know, it's different modes. You have, um, you know, all this self-reconciliation and all these things. You also have a stress mode. This will use a measure of the heart rate and the oxygen level and all these things to try to measure how stressed you look like. You have events. I don't have anything. This will, you know, get the events from your phone. So watch timer, compass, settings. Here in the settings, you can choose whether you want the time to be 24 hour system or 12 hour system. You also have the don't disturb mode, which... So this watch does not make any sounds by itself, but it does vibrate. So when you hit the don't disturb mode, it will just stop it from vibrating. You can change the date, change the time, use a 24 hour system. I don't know what this is, but you have languages here. Of course, <laughs> I haven't really played with that. I just kept it in English. Anyway, let's look at some of the faces. So, I like this face because it has tons of pictures and I can just, you know, change the picture as I please. But some of the other faces you have is this and this and this. And you can really choose any of them. Let's, for example, choose this. So you double click, I guess, or you long click. Okay, long click. I can swear I double clicked before. It doesn't have many options here, it just has these two. But, you know, if you, let's just, for the sake of this review, go and try another one quickly. So, let's go down, down. This, for example, let's long click again. Now we've got this. You know, one touch always does something. And here, it will just do that. And, you know, they try to show you as much information as they can in the screen. And I, I, I like it. You know, it's very basic, very nice. Does the job. You have the heart icon. I guess if you remove this, you know, the heart icon up there is not it's not there anymore that shows that it's gonna it's gonna last a little longer and it's not gonna be watching your heart rate all over the day anyway that's
that's basically it. One of the things I really like, as I said, is the heart rate here. It will just populate all this throughout the day automatically, like once every 30 minutes or an hour or so. And you can just come back here and look at how your heart was fluctuating and changing during the day. And I, I, I think it's very accurate, like acceptably accurate to be clear. I don't wanna, like I don't know how exactly accurate it is. I have not tried it with a medical device, but the numbers I get are comparable to my normal heart numbers. So that's pretty much it. It's not like an Android OS and it's not iOS. It has its own system, which, you know, it could have been better if it had like an Android OS or something so that I can download more apps. Here you're stuck with these apps, but at the same time, it does get upgrades. They might upgrade it later and like have a new firmware upgrade and that will have more apps. And also it has, it has pretty decent apps. I don't really have any problems with the amount of apps I have here. I have almost all what I need for a basic watch that does also look like the Apple Watch. It's not huge, but it feels premium. And this costed me about 78, oh, not, oh my God, no, 48 or $37. So, you know, I think it might be on the higher range of smartwatches in this category, but also it's, it's just decent, it's nice. It's whole touch screen, it's very responsive, it looks premium, it looks nice, it does the job. So, that's pretty much it. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. And please consider sharing it with your friends if you don't mind. And I'll make new videos soon. Thank you. Have a good day.